Okay, so let's erase uh, these uh, objects. So I'm going to uh, go to my modify tool and click erase. And I simply select the hatch, 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 press enter. And then let me also uh, erase this. And uh, another shortcut you, where you can erase is simply select the object and then on your keyboard, press the delete key. And it should erase it too. So select, press delete key, select, press delete key on your keyboard. Okay. Um, so you can also erase it that way. Now let's proceed with uh, discussing uh, this blocks. So when I click on this one, this is treated as one object. And because it's one object, it only has one grip. So this one too is considered one object, so it's treat this one grip. I mean, um, treat this one object, so there's only one grip. So I can click on that clip, grip, and then move it wherever I want to without typing any command. And that's the essence of grips is you can manipulate or uh, move that object or select that object or stretch that corner using a grip. But in this case, because this is an object that is already a block, I cannot stretch anything. Okay. Uh, so if you can create a block, you can uncreate it using the explode command. So under modify, okay, we're going to try to find where explode is over here. It says explode when you click that and then click your block. Oops click your block and then press enter this one is still a block so when I click it there's only one grip press escape but if I click this now they're individualized again okay so if you want to create a block you can create a block um, by creating blocks over here you can create one and if you have what a block and you want to separate the lines of a block you can explode them okay and explode is under modify in this command over here and once it's exploded then if I wanted to let's say make a stencil out of this one Sten stencil means that uh, I don't want to have a shape inside a shape okay so um, to make a stencil all I have to do is draw a line draw line and then draw a line from here to here and then press escape another line from here to here press escape and then i'm going to use my modify and trim so i can cut the extra lines that i don't want and that's called stenciling okay i'll do the same thing over here i'll draw a line from here from here to here and make sure that you do not press escape that you do not um, see that box because once you once you draw a line here and you go too close to a line it automatically selects the endpoint and guess when you click it attaches to that one because it automatically grab the endpoint so make sure you don't automatically grab the endpoint okay press escape when you're drawing a line make sure you clear that endpoint otherwise it'll grab it there you can avoid that by zooming in a little bit. Okay. And then you can simply click here, drag and click there. Go back to modify, click trim. And then cut those extra pieces. Okay. Now this is the only way you can trim uh, the block is after exploding it because uh, press escape. You can see that this upper portion, whoops, zoom extends, okay. this upper uh, portion over here, that is still a block. And if I draw a line, just like I did here, zoom a little bit, draw a line, two lines, and use the modify trim. Okay, I can trim these two lines, but I can't trim this because this line is part of a block 
and I can't modify blocks until I explode them okay so that's why we need to explode first if you want to uh, modify a block so in the bottom over here I modified the block by stenciling out the inner uh, letters and so now I want to create a new block out of this one so I click create block okay and then uh, what is the block name I'm gonna type the name and then put number two so that it's the second block I created press enter and then I wanted to select it somewhere here and then I wanted to select this whole thing as the block press enter now when I click on it it's now a block and I can put, get the, my original block click drag and select put it here okay or get the second one click and drag out and now I have two blocks okay so I can click move here Oh, click and drag and put it over here click and drag hold and click okay click hold and drag out and drop zoom extents and there you go I have two different blocks the first one is not stencilized the second one is stencilized okay